What's poppin' YouTube fam, JD here, back with yet another review for you guys. And in this video, I am gonna be reviewing the Jordan 1 Pine Green. What up guys, shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the best, man. Thank you so much for the constant comments and love on this channel. Appreciate all of you. So I know that this video is a little bit late. So these shoes came out last week. And to be honest, at first glance, like I didn't really like the shoe. I had no intention of copying it personally, uh, especially to add it to my collection. I had no intention of doing that. But there are a lot of sneakers that I cop just to do reviews for you guys. And I didn't think that this would be one of them just because pretty much everybody and their moms already did reviews on this sneaker. I feel like there's already like hundreds of reviews on this sneaker because this was such a readily available sneaker and everyone, pretty much everyone managed to cop it. However, I then looked at StockX and I noticed that there was resale pretty much for every single size. And that surprised me because of how available these shoes were. And this told me that, you know what? People were really going after after the shoe a lot of people really wanted these and then there was a unexpected restock at Foot Locker here in Germany so I actually went ahead and copped five pairs of this shoe and I did that mainly as an investment I'll get more into that later on in the video I actually just have one pair with me right now they haven't even shipped me the other four pairs so let's talk about the shoe the Jordan 1 pine green first of all Jordan brand y'all couldn't even come up with a different name for this sneaker i mean really like at least call it the pine green 2.0s i think i'm gonna call that just for the sake of differentiating this shoe from the original pine greens this is kind of weird man like usually jordan brand will add like a 2.0 or a 3.0 at the end you know to differentiate the shoes but in this case they gave it the exact same name as the og pine greens you guys know that sneaker that was basically like a green toe jordan 1 when it comes to the colorway, both this pair, the 2.0 and the 1.0, really dope colorways. I mean, like you really can't go wrong putting green on a Jordan 1. It's just a very nice look. This pair, of course, features predominantly black and green. It's similar to the color blocking on a Jordan 1 bread or on this pair right here, the Royals. It's pretty much the same kind of color blocking. And that's one of the reasons I feel a lot of people wanted this sneaker because it is a color blocking scheme that Jordan heads are used to. And they, we just haven't seen this nice green colorway on this type of color blocking before. So yeah, of course, a lot of people really wanted this sneaker. There are a lot of things that kind of annoy me though about this sneaker, beginning with the quality. Now, it's really funny to me how many people on YouTube are saying that the quality on this is amazing or it's really good because these are the same people that were bashing the quality on the Jordan 1 Varsity Red. Uh, and you guys were actually bashing me in that video and saying that I knew nothing about leather. Guys, just because leather looks tumbled, that doesn't mean it's good quality leather, man. It seems like Jordan 1 fans like their shoes to look like it's already been worn and that to them is good leather. Guys, like to me, this is not amazing leather at all. As you can see pretty much on all the green elements on the shoe, it does feature that overly tumbled leather. And guys, this is an effect that's added on to the leather. The leather does not naturally come this way. It's just made to visually look like it's tumble leather. I personally am not a fan at all of this crinkly, fake, tumble looking leather. It reminds me a lot of a pair of sneakers that came out last year, the Jordan 1 Crimson Tint. That pair, from strictly a colorway point of view, was a top three Jordan 1 that came out last year. However, that sneaker, all over the sneaker, featured that fake tumble looking leather, and that's what really put me off of that sneaker. And this shoe, unfortunately, features the same. It features that fake tumble leather, which I'm not a big fan of, but I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know what do you guys think about this fake tumble leather. Is this a look that you guys like? Do you guys actually think that this sneaker has good leather? Let me know down in the comments. Another thing I don't get, guys, is come on, Jordan Brand. Why didn't we get green laces with this sneaker? Instead, we get these red laces. I have no idea what the thinking was there because I've seen pictures of this sneaker with the red laces. I'll leave a pic to it right here. Guys, like, what is this, a Christmas shoe? I mean, like, this, like, if Santa's elves want to look like hype beasts, this is a perfect shoe for them. Uh, I have no idea why anyone would want to wear this shoe with the red laces. I think that's a really weird look. And we needed the green laces, Jordan Brand. Like, it's so obvious. Why didn't we get green laces? 
Also, the Wings logo of the shoe is slightly different than most uh, Jordan 1s. First of all, it's bigger in width. As you can see, I'm putting two Jordan 1s here side by side. You can see this green pair has a much bigger logo and the logo is not embossed into the shoe. It is actually stitched on top. And also it features kind of this glossy black look. And here is where I think Jordan Rand should have maybe introduced some red elements. I feel like just like this black Wings logo just looks a little I don't know, not that special to me. I would have rather had some hits of red here on the on the logo or even hits of green. Uh, I think would have looked better than this. Once again, let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think of this logo? I know it sounds like I'm just ranting in this video about this shoe, but to be honest, I mean, just from a colorway point of view, this you can't go wrong, man. This is a sick colorway Jordan brand. I'm not mad at all about the colorway and uh, I might even keep one of these pairs. I know I ordered five pairs. One of them is actually in my size, that's this one. I'm thinking of even keeping this shoe for personal now just because, you know what, I like the colorway, man. I can't lie. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure you smash that like button. Of course, it helps me out with that YouTube algorithm. Definitely helps out the channel, man. So support your boy, smash that like button, and of course, subscribe for more content. So I did mention at the top of this video, I actually purchased five pairs of this shoe strictly as an investment. Not something I do that often, but in this case, I did think that it was a really good opportunity. I personally think if you're willing to hold this for at least six months, you're gonna see decent profit on it, maybe 40 to $50 per size, and maybe more so even in the money sizes, like size seven to nine, and especially in the girl sizes. The girl sizes are doing really well in this colorway. So why do I think this is a good investment? So as I said, guys, Pretty much every single size right now has some level of resale and that to me tells me that this sneaker is sold out everywhere. So this is not definitely one of those outlet type of shoes. Uh, I don't see like pretty much, you, you know, you guys know what happened with the crimson tints. Those ones actually sat for weeks and it did, some pairs actually did manage to end up in outlets. So I don't think that's gonna happen with these because every single size has some level of resale. Second of all, I actually think even in the short term, we might be seeing a slight rise in prices and that's because it happens to be tax season right now in the US, which means a lot of people are gonna be getting some unexpected checks returned back to them and they might wanna shell out some on some Jordan 1. That is strictly me speculating guys, but I actually do think that a lot a lot of people will in the short term buy this shoe simply because of getting that tax return and finally like i said guys nothing can take away from the shoe that this is a very clean colorway on a jordan one this is a very classic looking shoe it looks like almost like a classic colorway and a lot of people especially the jordan one collectors are gonna want this in their collection and it is sold out everywhere so pretty much the only place you can get it now is on the resale market so i do think that prices are going to continuously go up on this sneaker uh, but it is not a short-term hold i think it's definitely at least a six month hold on these and you should be seeing fairly decent profit on this so yeah those are all the reasons why i thought you know what i'm gonna go ahead and buy several pairs of these because yeah i do think it's a good investment if you guys made it this far in the video as usual give me a what up jd you guys are the best the on feed portion of the video coming up right now until next time guys peace